Roswell, New Mexico, the capital of bizarre, strange events. This place is creepy. Not just at Halloween, but all year long. It's no secret that UFOs have been sighted flying over this town for years. But deep inside Impact Confections Candy Factory, something much stranger can be found. Get ready for a close encounter of the candy kind. Warheads, the terrifyingly tart treats that trick every tongue they touch. At Halloween, Warheads bring an element of surprise to every candy bag with megatons of sour power, enough to make a grown man beg for mercy. Not much of a sour fan, are you? No, no, no. Andy Tilatnik is the resident expert on this otherworldly taste sensation. You produce most of the warheads here in New Mexico? Right here in Roswell. Where the very famous alleged crash happened a number of years ago. I can't comment on that, obviously. That's top secret, as you can imagine. Obviously. This factory creates these extreme sour soaked confections in five face twisting flavors. Lemon, green apple, watermelon, blue raspberry. And the one that we hear is the favorite among most people is black cherry. Black cherry. We make over 250 million pieces of candy every year right here. That's enough to fill the International Space Station. Really? And 30% of those warheads are sold during the Halloween season. What is it about warheads that make these the perfect Halloween candy? Warheads are great for Halloween because it's a nice small piece to give out at Halloween time, and it packs an extreme punch in every piece. <laughs> Pucker up as I discover the secret ingredient that gives Warhead's extreme hard candy its raw, sour power. Oh, it's better with the candy. <laughs> Test a new Warhead delivering an explosive candy spray. Wow. Oh, it is sour. I'm at the Warhead's factory in Roswell, New Mexico, checking out their most extreme weapon. While its candy costume is unassuming, tasting a Warhead Extreme Sour Hard Candy can be downright scary. Where do you feel the sour? In my tongue and in the side. It's so sour right now. To find out what makes a Warhead so sour, I'm meeting up with the weapons expert here in Roswell, plant manager Danny Williams. This is it. This is where all the action begins. This is our uh, 2,000 pounds of sugar. We use four of these a day. You go through 8,000 pounds of sugar in a day here. 8,000 pounds. In fact, if you want to think about it, probably 8,000 pounds is going to be the equivalent of two average automobiles. So who would have thought that these weapons of sour destruction start off innocently enough with plain old sugar, just like any other candy? Now, where does the sugar go? It looks like it's being pumped out here to somewhere. Yeah, sugar comes up and goes over here into this kettle. So we bring in the sugar, corn syrup, and water, and we mix and make our final solution in here. This makes the solution that will make the candy. That's right. The 700-pound batch is pumped to the boiler upstairs, where it is heated to a scalding 300 degrees. So right here, this is actually the final product. This is it. The syrup at this point is about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. We've got it to its final stage. It's ready to go downstairs, and we're going to start messing with it and turn it into warhead. This is a river of cooked candy. Downstairs, the molten river of candy meets up with sour apple flavoring and lots of green to make today's batch of sour apple warheads. All right, how much of this do I have to add? As long as you don't overfill this, you're good. Once the candy's been cooked and flavored, it then has to go along this slow cooling band, which is actually going to do two things. Cool the candy down to the point where it can be cut and also remove all the air bubbles. That's what's going on with these rollers here. They're kneading the dough and removing all the air pockets. So then down here, you can see a fine, smooth candy. And even when I just touch that really lightly, it's still really hot. That candy's still over 200 degrees. This is a batch roller, but it's kind of an unusual batch roller because there's a tube back here that's actually injecting a citric acid center to the middle of the candy so that the warhead's gonna have sour on the inside and sour on the outside. Once the candy rope gets to its final thickness, what happens here? This is a machine that we call a die cutter. This machine produces 75,000 individual warheads out of that 600 pounds of candy. Can I grab one right off the line? Sure. Like that? So while it's still warm, it's still quite malleable. But as soon as it cools down, it becomes brittle. It's really good. The yeah. sweet, sour apple flavor, little acidity on the inside. Keep in mind, it's not yet a warhead. This would be the outer shell of the warhead. 
without the explosives. At this point, the warm candy gets shot out like machine gun fire onto this cooling belt. In here, the individual candies are getting blown with cool air, which slowly cools them down to about 70 degrees. Right here, you get the finished candy. So you can see that citric acid right in the middle. Kind of looks like a cat's eye. These warheads are now ready to be weaponized. This is where we convert the candy that you've seen up to this point to warheads. But what exactly is it that makes a warhead so dangerously sour? We put the most malic acid as allowed by law. And that's what this is. That's what this is. Malic acid is derived from fruit and is what makes green apples taste so sour. It is the main face puckering ingredient in most sour candy, but the candy engineers at Warheads take it to the limit. If you put one quarter of a percentage more malic acid on the candy, I can't do it. Illegal. Can't do it. It's this we, close to being illegal. It's just that close. This is the secret weapon in the Warhead. Oh, it's better with the candy. <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> I do not recommend doing that. It's just a little sour, correct? The extreme warheads get a double dose of malic acid to ensure that all 150,000 pieces in this batch are evenly coated with the most sour allowed by law. Even with the mask on, it's really potent. Really strong. And how many pounds of malic acid are going to go in there? There's roughly about 50 pounds of malic. After adding in some carnauba wax to give them a nice sheen, these little sour bombs are ready to wreak havoc. It's like a classic horror flick. You gotta love a candy that comes with its own disclaimer. Warning, eating multiple pieces within a short time period may cause a temporary irritation to sensitive tongues and mouths. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Oh, it burns. For those who can't take the sour power of the extreme hard candy, Impact Confections has reverse engineered the original Warhead to create a new alien form, the Super Sour Spray. This is like the next phase of Warhead technology. Yeah, it's like, you know, when you have a minty spray that you spray in your mouth to freshen your breath. Yes. Except in this case, it's super sour liquid. Do you have all the same flavors of these that you do have in the uh, regular candy? We have some of the similar ones in green apple, blue raspberry, and watermelon. But we've just introduced black cherry and spray. You know what you might find very helpful is the sour meter. But the highest level is extreme, which would be our hard candy. This is rated super sour. That's right. Just below extreme. The spray candy starts with a precisely measured blend of sour ingredients. Lactic acid, citric acid, and Warhead's secret weapon, the very, very potent malic acid. And in each batch of sour spray, they use over 15 pounds of it, enough to pucker half a million faces. So to balance the sour, we have to sweeten the pot. So we got 30 gallons of water in here, yep. 150 pounds of sugar, and fruity notes courtesy of black cherry flavoring. How cool is this? I'm getting to help make the super sour spray. From one batch, over 10,000 bottles of super sour spray are ready for blast off. Besides the obvious consistency, What's the difference between the hard candy and the spray? Well, the spray is nice because you spray it in your mouth, and you can control the intensity of your sour by the number of sprays that you do. I feel like it's in my throat. Wow. Oh, it is sour. Fred, what is it you like about the spray? The sweetness and the sourness together. How many do you like? More the better. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's sour. Adam. Wow, you can take quite a pucker. I'm used to this. 